Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Victor the Magician, and I'm coming to you live-ish from the sunken city of Reliac, where Great Cthulhu waits dreaming. And I do realise that Reliac looks a lot like my bedroom, with a not-very-good underwater filter layered over the top in post-edit. Well, that aside, this trick really is about Cthulhu, and more specifically, about this coin. One of the pieces of ancient currency used in that nightmare city created by H.P. Lovecraft. Now, what I want to do is lower the camera and start a trick that will take you all the way up to the very Mountains of Madness, which is a different H.P. Lovecraft story not related to Cthulhu at all, but, you know, I've got to get as many references in here as I can. I'm not going to be doing another one of these. Let's try. Let's start this trick. Okay, so in addition to that coin there, we're also going to need a couple of cards. For example, this here, Jack of Diamonds. Now, it doesn't actually matter what the card is. All that matters is that we can place him down next to our coin. And this uh, Nine of Diamonds, again, doesn't matter what he is. All that matters is that he can go next to our other card. And finally, this Ten of Spades, which can go over that card. Which just leaves us with one other ingredient to add, Cthulhu himself. Now, this token here, this coin, isn't just a coin, it's not just currency. It's something used to beg favours from the great old ones, like this nightmarish monster himself. So if we place him here... The coin stays where it is, and definitely not under either of these two cards. Watch what happens if we move Cthulhu all the way to the end. He will draw that coin, that symbolic token, to him, so now instead of a coin here, or here, we have a coin. Here. Similarly, if we move Cthulhu to the middle, the Queen vanishes from here, or here, and rematerializes right there. But what happens if we move that Queen and that card there, and move Cthulhu so he's equidistant from all three cards? Well, under those circumstances, something very mysterious happens. The madness generated by this strange monster begins to multiply. So we now have coins here, here, and here. I've been Victor the Magician, hail to the great old ones, and until then, tune in next time for more magic.